those who have not been with us today, although they were invited, um, I'm sort of disappointed uh, because this is such a crucial document that will impact on your entities and your lives as a CEO, as a board member, as a board chair. Invitations went out. My team has been calling. And here we are about just a third or half. I know some of you are joining us virtually. I don't know the number, but I will do the count later on. My concern is that I've been around for so long in Ghana politics and in the economy so much that um, one of the things that we fail to acknowledge is time management and the discipline of work. If we've been entrusted to do a job, just put your brains to it, put your attention to it, put your commitment to it, and do it. If you cannot do it, ask permission and leave. Leave the scene. Somebody is prepared to do the job. It's a very important document we are discussing today. I recollect when we started the SIGA legislation, we tried to engage some of our CEOs, and it was like nobody knew what we were doing when we tried everything. I remember finally when the document was in Parliament and almost passed after the second reading, and some having heard took time to ask me, I said, but everything is in this document. It's a very powerful document. I said, but we, took, we, we brought it to you for consultation. To stay cold that country, you never read it. You never read it. Suddenly, you are shocked, and it's in Parliament. We'll pass it. And it imp its impact will be huge. If we take our job seriously and, and attend to these matters in a disciplined manner, we won't be surprised with documents and, and, and workshops like this, which is impacting on the job we do. Because the failure to abide by the code when it's finished. Um, read the SIGA Act. Uh, there are sanctions. Sanctions that goes to the extent of even removal from office. Or even the dissolution of the board, if we apply it properly. And so there are consequences. And there are even sanctions that affect your remunerations. So if we call such an important meeting, and it's, like, oh, it's one of those workshops, and which I know, we are getting workshop fatigue in Ghana at some point. But this is not an ordinary workshop. And SIGA is not an ordinary organization. 